Welcome to Beer Stories from Beer Store Brew House. This video is about how to pair your beer to food. Remember, if you don't want to miss any videos from Beer Stories, please click like and subscribe down in the corner. You'll get the newest videos in your YouTube feed. You'll help me out and you help the channel out as well. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Well, beers and food pairing. Um, think about this as a, as a creative game. Um, beer is all about being creative and trying things. Food is all about being creative and trying new things. Uh, and the, both things are also about tastes. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off with giving you some guidelines. Um, this is not an, an exact science. I can't tell you this beer for, uh, for a chicken or <laughs> whatever. It doesn't work that way. Uh, but I can give you some guidelines and I can give you a lot of examples. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna tell you a lot of things in this video. So uh, I've also made a guide that you can find down the, in the description. Um, but beer is fun and creative. Food is fun and creative. Um, so you have to find out what works for you as well. But uh, use these guidelines. Number one, match, match uh, the aroma of the food and the beer uh, to, to the same level. Um, yeah, that was number one. Number two, match the fullness and richness of the beer to the food, uh, both in according to alcohol and, and uh, aroma. Um, number three, opposite tastes, they complement each other. So sweet and salty, malty and salty, sweet and sour, acidity and sweetness, um, they can actually they are, they are opposite each other, but they can actually come together and create something amazing. But the cool thing about beer and food is that you can also, uh, so this is number four, harmony flavors. You can, you can add sweet, a sweet beer with sweet food and get something fantastic as well. Um, so you have these two big uh, guidelines to choose from when pairing food to beer, opposite each other, or the same uh, kind of flavors. Um, yeah, this just a rule of thumb: light beers with light food, dark and heavy beers with dark and heavy food. Um, but that's really really simplified. Uh, I'm gonna give you a lot of examples right now. Um, oh yeah, well in a moment, um, because wine can do some things, but beer is amazing to food. And uh, the big difference here is hops and uh, carbon dioxide. Because uh, carbon di dioxide lightens the food and cleans the ta taste buds. Uh, so, the, so, so yeah, you kind of get a reset of your taste buds every time you drink something, uh, something uh, with carbon dioxide in it. Um, and you can't do that with, wi with wine. Uh, and also the hops. They cut through uh, strong flavors from the food. They cut through the grease and the fat, uh, and thereby again resetting um, your taste buds, so that yeah, the taste bud they get dull. If you just eat the same flavors, you can taste them less and less. But if you have a hobby beer, if you drink beer to food, you will reset the tongue, and you will get the tongue will get like new flavors each time. So you will, it would take a longer time for the taste buds to get dull or lazy or sleepy or whatever you want to call it. So that's why beer is so much better to food than wine is. And it's not just me saying it, it's actually science. Um, the alcohol in beer and wine is of course the same. It cleanses uh, the tongue. Uh, that's filminess of fat you can get on your tongue. They will clean that out, and of course, stronger beers clean it better. Cleans it better. Um, yeah, and then you have all these different flavors in beer that you don't have in wine, that uh, would actually complement each other and just make the whole um, food beer experience much greater. 
um, than just wine and food. So that's why beer is yeah, way better to pair with food than, uh, than uh, wine is, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. And uh, another thing, you can also pair beer with desserts. You can pair it with all kinds of food. So, uh, yeah. The king of beers, in my opinion, uh, com when, when talking about uh, pairing uh, beer and food, is a uh, double buck. You can, uh, you can pair these with almost any kind of food. Light lunches to uh, to rich, uh, yeah, to rich food like uh, veal and, and stuff like that. So this goes to most food. If you're in doubt, go with a double buck. Um, a brown ale to uh, yeah, not brown ale doesn't go as well as double buck to all kind of foods, but it goes a long way as well. Um, actually, my favorite. Uh, beer and food pairing is Tata with uh, a double buck. It's just amazing. And then on toasted uh, rye bread, fantastic. You should try that. This was my guide. It was fast, many information. You can find the, the guide down in the description. If you hang around, up here there will be two uh, videos that YouTube wants you to see. And if you don't want to miss out on any videos, please click like and subscribe down the corner. Um, you'll help out this channel um, and you'll get the news videos in your YouTube feed. And of course, find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any questions, write to me on Facebook and Instagram. Write to me through uh, beerstories.dk or just write to me down in the comments. I'll try to answer as fast as I can. Uh, there are some, yeah, many people uh, are writing to me now, so maybe it will it would, it would take a few days, but I'll answer as fast as I can. So, yeah, just uh, guten Appetit, uh, happy brewing and a happy beer pairing out there.